Oh, there you go. Minor setback, major comeback. If I've got stuff thrown around the shop, it can only mean one thing. It means that uh, I've completely torn apart a lift kit box. And I gotta take all the accent pieces off of this kit because it has to go to powder powder coat tonight. It's Monday, it's about four o'clock. And this lift kit has to go to powder coat tonight. So I'm driving to Gainesville tonight. You got saved there. I'm driving to Gainesville tonight. I'm gonna drop this lift kit off. I gotta swing by and see the customer. But I'm gonna bring you guys along on the journey. This is this is a lot that you guys normally would not see on the channel. You know, this this process of having to get the lift kit and accent pieces off, taking the the, the piece, you know, just taking the pieces off, sending it to powder coat. You know, there's certain builds that I take the lift kit to powder coat myself because I need it done. And I can't wait for a courier to take it or I can't wait for different things like that. So there's a lot of times where Sometimes I just got to do it myself, you know, and that's that's kind of what's going on. So this truck's going on a uh, 2020 Denali 2500. It's gonna be all white. So it's getting white lift kit, white control arms, white traction bars, just white everything. We're whiting it out. But I gotta, yeah, pure coat cane. So I gotta get all the accent pieces off. Go to powder coat tonight. 2614 American Forces, some Furies, nine inch McGoy's kit, control arms, traction bars, all of it. All white, chrome accents. You guys are gonna, oh no, it's my, it's my least favorite part about this whole job. I got everything out, look, I got this whole, there was a, there was trash all over the place for me. You got cross members, traction bar pieces, rear traction bars, compression struts, all your brackets. Your uh, torsion drops. All of it's all of it's white. We we lucked out. You got all the chrome accents. Everything that's not going to powder coat. Shocks came white already, which is really nice. You know, so it's just part of the process. Getting some American forces up here. That's gonna be super nice. I'm excited. Just give this break. Mm, nice. Calm before the storm. Calm before the storm. Got everything loaded up. Lift kit in the truck. One of the wheels, because I got to stop by his house on the way home. It's been a long time on the channel since I've started a somewhat of a road trip. It's about two hours to get up to Gainesville, and it'll be about two hours to get home, not including stopping by his house. But it's been a good good minute since I've started a road trip off with a uh, chocolate milk. So the vibes, vibes are great today. Cheers. This was everything I need, right? Not so fond of change. I'm too caught up in my way of thinking. I get by on me. No, I don't need nobody. Yes. These guys run 24 hour shifts up here. The lights look good in the, in the, at, night, at night, in the nighttime, at nighttime. These guys don't mess around. They got a whole, whole operation going on. But look, there's our lift kit. Dropped off at the shop. That's it. I did want to show you all this truck over here though. Look. I gotta go, I gotta stop and see a customer tonight. But look, ooh, the slammed on the snowflakes with the cleared headlights? That's clean as hell, I like that. All right, let's go, I gotta go. Ah! I'm not gonna talk about what happened here. How do you even do that? Those Boston wheels are nice though. We got another one on the way, uh, Chevy six lug. 37, 12, 80, 20s. If you guys want these Boston wheels, I'll have these for sale in the showroom in the next uh, week or so. They're like a graphite color or a matte gun metal kind of color on some uh, Toyo HE 37, 12, 80, 20s. But to replace it, oh man, y'all seen y'all seen the TRX on 26s yet? Got some 26, 12 TIS 547s going on that bad boy. That's mean. That's mean. I can't wait to see it in the sun. Let's hear it. I think they're not good, actually. Wide body on 26s? What? I think it turned out pretty good. I mean, it definitely looks good sitting next to these two Joe Blows. 
that's for sure. Oh yeah. Yeah, you're good. All day long. goes into the world 26 is an all so I gave it 24 hours I was told yesterday morning today's Wednesday I was told Tuesday morning that we would be able to pick the lift kit up for from powder coat tonight Wednesday night that's what I was told now you know, we gotta look, obviously it's 7.30 in the morning, that remains to be seen. I'm, I'm keeping my fingers crossed because I wanna get this truck done. But I do have something cool outside that I wanna show you guys I got dropped off yesterday. So I don't know if you guys remember, Jimmy brought us some new wheels that he's putting on his truck a couple weeks ago. And he has uh, dropped this off because we're doing some work to it. Now the wheels aren't here, so I don't know if we're doing the wheels yet, but there are some changes coming to the Candy Chevy. And then uh, if you guys don't remember this one, some more from my Dodge fans. We did a three inch rough country, some uh, 22 by 14s and a 33 1450 Fury. And I love the way that this turned out. This is one of my favorite Dodges that I've built. I love the color and I love, I love that stance. How's this freaking wide it is? 22 14s 33 14 50 furies was that that was the perfect choice in my opinion for what he wanted and, and the look that we were going for that one turned out amazing but this one jimmy's got 26 by 16 four giados and uh and I, i'm just i'm excited to say the least <laughs> can't roast the tires we're gonna see we're gonna see <laughs> I believe in you. Our lift kit's here. I'm excited. Franks and Beans! What are you working on, Alan? You know I got people that comment that, asking about Franks and Beans. So I'm putting all the accent pieces back into the McGoy's kit. It's all nice and pretty and white. Chrome. It's going on a 2022 2500 High Country, all white, with some fossils. Franks and Beans! What you got there? You got Man, don't put me on. Got some pizza. Some meat, are watching. Some meat pizza and some brownie cookie, whatever the hell it is. 
Jay's got all kinds of good stuff going on down there right now. We got a we got a couple of cool things to show you guys right now. Actually. Oh no. What's going on here? There we go. Yeah, buddy. Nothing better. White. Chrome. The white and chrome is just, it hits a little different in my opinion. Not too big, not too small. You know, it's just the right color. It's not too bright, not too dull, you know. <laughs> okay. Ah! You can drop it off the floor if you want. All the accent pieces finished up. Ooh. The white shots. U bolts. Look at them torsion drops. Beautiful. We've got our rear traction bars. Front compression struts. Now, something that is going to be a little controversial. You guys may or may not like it. They're a little dirty, obviously, but that, that can be cleaned off. The white emblems on the control arms. I think it's clean as hell, to be honest. I'm, I'm really excited about that. And then, obviously, we're getting the, uh, the forces. But everything's ready so we can go pick the truck up tonight. It's going to be a late night. i got to go pick the truck up, bring it with me to work tomorrow. But it's definitely going to be worth it. I'm excited. Let me know what you guys think about the control arms. I haven't done the white on white on the control arms. I think it's clean as hell. But let me know. That's where I'm going at uh, 10.30 at night. I'm going to get a chocolate milk. Thank you. I'm freaking tired. I was falling asleep waiting for you, Joe Blows. It's 10.30 on a, uh, what is it, Wednesday? Tuesday. Wednesday night. Is it Tuesday? Yeah. No, no it's it Wednesday. Is Wednesday. It's Wednesday. Tuesday. 10.30 on a Wednesday night. And uh, Thomas and Brian are running me into Buckhead so we can go pick this truck up. Truck has to get built tomorrow. Well, has to be done Friday. But we got to get 90% of the truck done if we want it to be done Friday. 2500s take a little bit longer. Normally those 1500s are done same day, but something like this, we're on a very, very strict, strict timeline, strict deadline that has to be made. So that means Alex has to go pick up the truck, take it home, and bring it to work tomorrow. <laughs> you know what that means? That means uh, the boys got to come pick me up and uh, it's chocolate milk time at the gas station is, is what that means. So uh, chocolate milk, no five hour energy tonight. I'm not, I'm not going that far into it. Normally I would. But tonight, not so much. What's the move right now? Oh my God. It's fresh, baby. <laughs> Buffalo Ranch Chicken Roller Bites. I call them chicken dicks. Jay Ford had never heard of these before. And they were looking at me like I was crazy in the shop the other day. I was like, man, y'all ever had chicken dicks? They they're, looked, uh, they're crusty. They're they looked places. at me like I was crazy as hell. And I'm like, y'all are missing out, I swear. If y'all haven't, uh, racetrack, quick trip. If you haven't had the chicken dicks, try it out. Y'all like my new high country? Back at it. Back at it. Oh man. The first time that a lot of you, well any of you, have really ever seen this truck, but this is our 2022 Chevy Silverado 2500 HD High Country Duramax. Take in the beauty, take in the beauty. That beautiful white, summit white, we do a lot of GMC Denali's up here and I'm super, super freaking excited to be doing a 2500 High Country because I don't think we've done one on a nine inch lift. All the ones that we do are GMC's. Everybody likes the Denali's. But I'm, like I said, I'm really excited to be doing a, a High Country, you know, a, a 2500 High Country. I love the front end on these just a little bit more than I like the GMC's. I mean, obviously I drive a Chevy, I'm a Chevy guy. It just, it is what it is. It's the first time that all of you guys are seeing this and the last time that you'll ever see it like this. Cause this is a truck that's getting that all white and chrome, nine inch McGoy's kit inside, 2614 American Forces and 37 inch Furies. It's gonna be a beautiful truck. It's gonna be really beautiful. I hope you guys are excited. 
it, it's time it's here it's uh it's just, it's it's one of the you know, it's before the blink of an eye it'll be done it's what you know what i mean one more cool one guy messaged me on instagram about it last night do you guys remember on the channel when we went to bucky's maybe like a month ago month and a half ago something like that and uh the thumb this is the this was the thumbnail this was the truck that was in the thumbnail now it has since been sold and it's not the same owner but this was that truck and it's just it's kind of cool how small the world is that um i'm pretty sure some guy locally now owns the truck but you know it's, it's cool that we can uh, take a little bit more of a better look because it was it was dark it was nighttime cognito control arms i know it's a nine inch uh, fts kit with the 2614 hard cores the white gmc it's a beautiful truck though it's just kind of funny how things come full circle like that oh no what happened to chauncey i don't know Oh, I'm excited about this one. How long have we been waiting? About six weeks? Six to eight weeks? Something like this. Two, two months, three months. Um, first set of JTX that we've sold at the shop. Long time coming. I don't know why we haven't sold more, to be honest. Um, but I'm really excited to set up black and milled 26 inch dually wheels. And they were not cheap, <laughs> to say the least. But I'm really excited to bust these bad boys open. I haven't even called the customer yet. These came in yesterday, and I've been dealing with this white lift kit, so obviously I, hasn't, I haven't had time to deal with it. Um, Ooh, are you excited? Watch it be upside down, you can't see it. The packaging is good, though. Ooh, look at the JTX Forge. Ooh, ooh. Don't scratch the wheel. Don't scratch the wheel. That's the outer rear. Think so? Think so. Okay. Maybe it's just part of their build. You might be able to rotate them around, I guess. Oh, so you can rotate them? Boy, oh, that is a huge center cap. So much, but I love it. It's low profile. Holy shit. It's not that much bigger, it's just a little profile. That's beautiful. Hey, Leonard. I like how the cap don't stick out like the Ford Giotto. That's a big cap though. No, that's a small cap. I'm talking about like how wide it is. It's 10 loads. But it don't stick out halfway through the wheel. Alex, where's the keys at? Oh, yeah. My pocket? Here. 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 Jake, watch that control arm you're stepping on, buddy. I like it, though. Oh, hell yeah. The cap's, the cap's riding the, what, over the Forge Yacht because I don't like how it sticks out so far. But that's clean. Front. Front. Now if they can get their bead lock in. No, I'm pretty sure this is a, I think this is a front. I think the cap is just virtual. No? You think so? Yeah, they got the... They could ship it like that because the cap would stick out and the box is not very wide. So they may have screwed the cap on the inside of the wheel. I was gonna. I thought about it this morning. We're building the truck in this video on a set of twenty six fourteen American Forces, and I'm wearing a KG one hat. Hold the JTX. Un Unbox the JTX wheels, yeah. With stocks on your truck. With stocks, yeah. I like it. Mm. Metal cap, yeah, yeah, buddy. Shout out JTX on that one. Jake, get the mustache. Blurred face. Get the mustache blurred. 
Let's get this bread. I think the biggest part about this, the this one, we, we kind of went back and forth about this one. This one, um, Mikey's looking at me like I'm crazy right now. Talk to him. camera. I figured that was gonna happen. I was gonna start talking, you'd walk around, and then you'd give me this like, what the hell's this kid doing look as, I, as, as you walked around the truck. One of the biggest things that we had to decide about this truck, it's very small, very small, but one of the biggest questions that we had here. McGoy's control arms come black, right? The emblems on the control arms come like a grayish color. I've never understood that because the rest of the accent pieces on the lift kit are chrome. I, don't, I just, I've never understood that. But all white lift kit, all white truck, chrome accents. Where the hell is gray emblems on the control arm supposed to fit into that? And I, I was not okay with that. So I called the customer. Something that you guys are, are really gonna probably have an issue in the comments, but we went all white on the control arms. Now, I don't know how you guys are gonna feel about that considering we've got all the chrome accents on the front, chrome accents on the front compression struts, and then the same thing on the rear traction bars that aren't on yet. But I just, it's something did not sit well with me that we didn't have chrome emblems. And it was gonna take six weeks or eight weeks to get the chrome emblems on the control arms. I mean, we could probably polish them, but then again, it's something that we haven't done. And in such a short time frame, I didn't, I didn't wanna, I didn't wanna risk it. I didn't wanna send it. So we went all white. I think it turned out really good because you do have the little silver, you know, bolts to put them in but let me know in the comments what you guys think one of the more riskier things that we did there i think it turned out pretty good though it's clean once once everything's cleaned up i think the the shadow on it is is enough you know it's they're, they're the same white obviously but i think the screws break it up just a little bit but i think it turned out good nonetheless let me know what you guys think she's my cherry pie <laughs> It look really cool. That spare tire under there is just trash now. Uh, and I'm pretty sure that the U-bolts and blocks took the hit, so I think the rear end is maybe fine. I think we're good here. We need a bed. Western's got one wheel and stuff. Get a wheel. Shut up, Western. Uh, it's gonna need two leaf frames. It bent that leaf frame. But the frame does not look good. Good. That can be fixed. Yeah, I'll go pick it up. Yeah, it was a little heavy beat. I mean, all the Be back before you know it, Chauncey. Minor setback, major comeback. Absolutely. Look at this weather right now, though. Are you in a short t shirt? Are you in a t-shirt right now? You're in a t-shirt. I get pooped on my t-shirt. Woo! <laughs> Damn. Oh, that got me. Ooh. That got me. What? Give me another one. Ah! 
Ah, is that better? No, because I didn't get the uh, hips. You did get the... Ah, you like that? I, I, I only got one woo with me, that's about it. I got one woo, my boy, my, my third already feels... Ah, ah. You, you, you see this? <laughs> if I start messing around like that, I'm actually gonna... I hate you so much. <coughs> I was gonna give you another whoop, but you gotta get from out behind the desk a little bit more. <laughs> this is what happens when I start messing around. I actually start getting winded over here. Whoa! There you go. That was real quick, just in and out. All right, look. For those of you that didn't see it in the last tutorial, it's the only reason I make these videos just so I can show you guys this. Look. Yeah. Solid. Solid feet. Okay. Solid. Plant. Plant. Okay, 45 degrees, you got feet, pigeon toes in, what is that? What's what's out? Out. Alignment. Your, your toes out, right? You're out, jazz hands with no jazz hands. You get a little hip in there and you just act like you, ah. <laughs> I like, that's my favorite. All right, all right, come on, come on. All right, all right look, so la last minute change. There's been a lot, of, a lot of back and forth here, all right? This truck's got like 80 miles on. 80 miles. This might be the lowest mile truck that we've ever built. No? I don't know. I think so. I'm not challenging you, but I am gonna let you know your camera has 6% battery. Oh, okay, all right, let's hurry up. 2022 Chevy Silverado 2500 High Country. I'm gonna say it right now. High Country over Denali. I'm, I'm throwing it out there. There's gonna be some people that hate me in the comments, but I don't care. High Country over Denali. Over Denali. That, that, like the, the, the signs. All right, look, 2022 High Country. Come on, camera guy, come on. What, what, this is what you get paid to do, come on. All right, 2614 American Force Jesters with the 37, 13, 50, 26 Fury MTs. We went all white. Nine inch McGoy's kit, all white. I like it. We did the same white kit on the, uh, what, the 2020 GMC Denali the other day. I'm sorry, but the front end of the high country is just, mwah, it's just so much better. In my opinion, the high country just has a different level of steez to it. Look at, look at the white. Oh, oh, what is, what is that? What is that? You hear it? You hear it? I don't think you hear it. The chrome? The chrome, it's, it's talking to me. We did some, uh, some chrome, uh, reservoirs. The shocks. I can't even talk right now. Chrome resis. You like that? Overhead chrome resis. All jokes aside, the white is perfect. Shout out to Georgia Powder Coat in Gainesville. If you guys don't know, you know, this. that's how I use powder coat in Atlanta. Georgia Powder Coat out of Gainesville did an amazing job. Look, yeah, get down here. Look how, look how clean that white is. Look how clean that, mwah, look how clean that is. Beautiful, you gotta love it, you gotta love it. The white's beautiful, matches with the truck perfectly. Again, shout out to Georgia Powder Coat, 2614 American Forces on the 2500 High Country. In and out. Knocking that shit out. Such a beautiful truck. I feel like I'm missing something. Traction bar, oh, come on, the traction bar. You got your traction bar. Folks, I should, look, so you guys were, you're probably gonna flame me in the comments. They were giving me crap up here. I think the white, the white emblems on the control arms turned out really good. We gotta clean that up a little bit. But I think the white emblems, I think we need to do the chrome caps. The control arm caps. I'm gonna get with my guy. We need to do that. Traction bars, you gotta see the traction bars. Come on. Obviously, we did the, the blocks, we did the U-bolts, traction bars, the billet accents on the inside, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. We got the, we got the dual chrome shocks in the back too. Gotta show love. Dual shocks in the back. Love it, absolutely love it. Look, let me be honest guys, lift kit, wheels, tires. Nothing crazy going on here. We got some other stuff going on, but for being such a simple truck, such a simple lift, it's my favorite. It's my favorite, it's got, no, no, no. I'm just following you around now, all right. Make sure you guys subscribe to my second channel. I love you guys. Shout out to Camino, you're the best. Following me. Let's get this bread. Look, all jokes aside, so I went and picked this truck up. I drove it home the other night. 
These new 2500s are one of the nicest trucks that I've ever ridden in in my whole life. Nine inch McGoys, all white, front traction bars, rear traction bars. We did the upper control arms all white. We did the chrome FTS uh, dual reservoir shocks, front and rear. 26, 14 American Forces, 37, 13, 50, 26 Furies. It came together so beautifully in such a in such a short time frame too. It's a testament in every video, and I say it all the time. We do this every day. You know, there's people that hate. There's people that have things to say, and our work speaks for it. There, it just it is what it is. When you guys see us do these trucks in a day, it's doable. Trucks like this, that they're a day and a half in and out done. It happens every week. Come see us, Southern Tire McDonough. Ask for Jake or Alex. You know what it is. Let's get this bread.